friends and family, this is Megan Bowen, aka Tall and Mikuk Sadam, Imnidang. And many of you guys that follow me on Snapchat have noticed that I wear extensions sometimes and they're like, oh my goodness, how do your extensions look so good? Well, I'm here to tell you that they're not extensions. There's a button on my back and I push it and my hair goes beep. And then I push it again and it goes beep. Anyway, so I'm gonna tell you how I blend my extensions because my hair is very short and blunt cut, so it is a little bit difficult. So the first thing, when you buy packs of clip-on extensions, you know they come in a 12 set, a 12 pack. You know, 12, that's just the magic number. 12 eggs, 12 beers, you know, 12 stuff. So what I noticed, when your hair is blunt like this, you need more than one pack. One pack is gonna be looking jacked up. This hair, these are everywhere around Korea and the hair is really good and nice and silky. And out of two packs, that's 24 pieces, like individual clips, I use about 22 of them. So pretty much almost the two packs in order to blend it well. So, so the first tip in blending short, short blunt hair to the extensions is first of all, you need to make sure that the texture is right and you need to make sure your hair is as pin straight as possible. And also make sure your hair is healthy. I've seen people who have these extensions who are all like shiny and fresh and healthy and you see their crusty hair up top and I'm like, mm -mm, boo, no boo, no. So having said that, make sure your ends are clipped because once you clip the hairs in, you're gonna see like this hair is like flat and nice and then it's like all up here where your hair ends. It's like a clear line between where your hair ends and this hair begins and it's just not cute. So, if you've got some split end problems, cut them things. If your hair is lacking in luster, then I'm gonna need you to deep condition it so it looks shiny like these weaves hairs. So once you have your two packs of hair and your hair is lustrous and shiny and your ends are clipped, then you just begin assembling. <laughs> then, since your hair has some bluntness, then you need to make the layers very close together. So I'm going to go with my pinkies like so and I'm going to take a section and then I'm going to put this up like so and then see how long it is. Maybe I can put a three, maybe I can put a two. Three is a little bit too long so I'm going to uh, take a two and a one. Put two right here, and I'm gonna put a one right here. Make sure they're secure because you don't want them things falling out. Okay, it's good. So then go up a few inches. And I don't have a mirror, so I feel so blind right now. We're getting there, we're getting there. All right. I could just wear it like this. Okay, sorry. Okay, so this side is finished. It looks very like streamlined. Okay, now I'm just gonna carry on the same way. You can see where my hair stops, right here. So find out where it is. It's about right here. Part about where that hair is. And stick the last one under here. Okay, so if you want to style it, I got this lovely flat iron from Irresistible Me. It's a diamond styler and even though it was sponsored, I ain't gonna lie, it's good. I mean, you guys see how my hair, I've had it for a month now and I've been using it and I really like it. It makes your hair really shiny and straight and I like it cause it curls a lot. So for styling, so I'm just gonna take it and start from the bottom. Now we're here and choop, make a little curl. 
they're a little bit too curled, so I'm hoping this will help. Good! Look in the camp. Did I get all the pieces? All right, I think I got them all, yeah! Makes you sweat a little bit, because we got the lights and this thing is hot, 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 hot. So you can adjust the temperature, you know, you can go all the way up to 230 degrees centigrade and as low as 130 degrees centigrade. And it tells you when it's all hot by the green lights. So I hope that you guys like that video. I hope that that helps some of you guys who are asking how I put in my extensions and how I blend my extensions so well with the bob. You just need to buy more hair. So. Make sure you check out the link down below for this hairstyler. It is good. If you like this video and like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is down below. Many of you have been asking me about doing vlogs. Well, I'm probably not going to be putting that many vlogs on YouTube because I have Snapchat. And I literally snap every single thing that I do. So follow me on Snapchat and Miguel Saram. And uh, yeah, don't forget you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you.